I don't know, Mike. It's like the fucking. I don't know. Seriously, what I was saying before, I'm really thinking of us not doing reviews anymore. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I, I'm just don't want to do it anymore. I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of I feeling know you've bad. Been telling me that you're ready to stop doing them too, right? Well, it just makes me feel bad because I've been smoking lately. And yeah, uh, I've been smoking like 20 packs of cigarettes a day. <laughs> <laughs> And we're live. <laughs> what is up, everybody? We are fucking bullshitting you. Um, welcome to... That was good. Yeah. Welcome, everybody, to episode 15 of The Vape Team. My name is Brian. I have a channel on YouTube called The Vapor Chronicles. And uh, my partner in crime tonight is Mikey motherfucking vapes good evening everybody actually uh yeah good evening good night uh, <laughs> good morning depending on where you are yes what's up peeps what hey. up everybody dj labs is in the house oh sweet labs <laughs> what's up tess is in the house too talking about that. what's up tess tess Go ahead, Mike. Um, I've been trying to get this lid on for like a half an hour, and for some reason, I cannot get it to thread. Is that the Kalantis? It sure is, Mike. You do it in reverse. I already did that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, BM says, knew you were kidding. <laughs> so I think we're going to start everything tonight with me spending 10 minutes tutorial on how to be a complete moron and not be able to screw on your top caps. Thanks for the top fill is the future, Mike. Yes. There we go. I got it. Derek DeVoe, Suzanne Young, welcome. Derek DeVoe. Oh, by the way, everybody, I want to give a personal shout out to Derek DeVoe. Besides entertaining me on a daily basis, doing all kinds of nonsense on Twitter, talking about, you know, you know, how his balls smell and all kinds of other gross, disgusting, juvenile humor that I find absolutely hilarious. He's also quite skilled at editing. And him and I have been going back and forth in an artistic fashion, creating a new intro for my channel. And at this point, it's still in the beta stage. and I'm just throwing some stuff out there and practicing a little bit. But uh, eventually, we're going to nail something down. But thank you, Derek. You are the man. And uh, there are favors of the sexual nature coming very soon. So thank you. Nice. Yeah. Steven, Steven Bruce in the house. Shout out Everybody. To Everybody's in the house. Who else is in the house? Christopher Bowen. Jeff. Nice. Hey, Mike, why don't you talk a little bit about our uh, the, th the third amigo and what's going on with him? Who? Uh, Mr. BK. Mr. Butt Kickers. You know what? Uh, he was supposed to have his internet up yesterday, and uh, I don't think it got put up. There's no sign of him, so who knows? But he is in the process of moving, and you guys know with the cable companies, whatever, you have to like make the appointments, and you don't get your shit installed 24 hours later. It's like a two-week wait, whatever it is. So, And, and also, remember, we had huge storms. I don't know if you guys know this, but in New Jersey... We had monstrous, monstrous storms, and I know he was in the storm path where he was, so that could also have delayed cable getting hooked up. Yeah. So. Let me start off on what I'm vaping on tonight. I would love that. All right. Today I'm doing the Joy Tech Evic with my smoke TCT tank with some, what do I got in here? Oh, and here I got this stuff here. Bean Town Vapory. It's like a strawberry. It's called Old Face. Name. Good stuff here. It's a strawberry cream. Pretty good. What else I got going here? What am I holding? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I got the cool fire on here. And I got this new tank from Sparkle. It's from Infinite. Sparkle, I guess, is their, um, what is it called? Their authentic line, I guess. Yeah. But it's pretty cool. It's got blue, oh, oh, 
blue o-rings the white drip tip comes with it they're a little matchy matchy there hey mike why don't you tell me for a minute because i'm actually interested how is that sparkle tank the drip tip sucks oh really yeah the opening is as you can see the opening there then you look at the drip tips opening and it's like half the uh, side and look I at the opening on the other end of the drip tip doesn't matter that's i know that's what i'm saying it's pointless yeah i just don't i don't get that part right there why it's but uh I mean, you could always change your drip tip. We all have drip tips, but I just don't understand that. What I'm thinking about doing is uh, getting like a nice uh, a bit and actually drill it out. Uh, some of these drip tips, just a little, just needs a little more. But uh, other than that, the tank is pretty cool. It's got sort of uh, the looks of this of this tank right here, almost like the smoke with the O rings. I see the airflow. Yep, yep, yep. They almost look a little similar. But for them, from the top part, they don't. So, and uh, what else am I using? Got this new device here. It's from a company called Encom. It's called the TNT eighty. It's an eighty watt device, and it takes a twenty six six fifty battery inside it. Boom! Boom! Eight times. And it's heavy. Got that, and I am using the OBS, the Vapor Chronicles tank on it. <laughs> <laughs> Got some motherfucking loopy in there. Pretty good. Should I suck my lawyers on them, Mike? You should. You're I think them. I deserve a royalty check or something. Yes. I'm actually vaping loopy twice. I also got loopy on my Silo Beast, and I'm using my uh, Boxer mod. This has the same chip that the SX Mini has, for the exception that it's got a, that's 150 watts in regular mode, dual 18650. And it does 50 uh, watts or joules in temperature control mode. And it's got uh, some new features on there. It's got like an echo mode, I guess the economy mode it's got on there. And it's got something else, a sensor mode, which I haven't figured out what the sensor is, what that means. I gotta look into the sensor part. I think but, uh, that echo mode was updated on the 350J for the uh, the SS yes. Mini also, yeah. Yeah. So, and I got the Silo Beast on there, and in here I also got some motherfucking Loopy. Motherfucking Loopy. Yes. Man, you have the lungs of a vape god. I'm from. I'm going to try it today. Maybe I can hit it off. Let me try it once. Let's see if I can do it. I don't know if anybody's done this yet, but I'm going to try it once. I think I can do four hits in one shot, four months. Oh, here we go. Oh, I couldn't get it. It's <laughs> not <laughs> uh. four dicks at once, so I'm sure you can hit four mods, Mike. Oh, man. <laughs> I think they have to be two mods for you to be able to do four at once. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I have four mechs. Yeah. yeah. So let's see what's going on here in the questions. Well, I'll spend a minute and talk about what I'm vaping if anyone's interested. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, besides the fact uh, well, let me start off. I'm having a beautiful cup of coffee, uh, Starbucks Sumatra. The uh, the flavor is excellent, and this is what I drink every day. I'm also uh, vaping on this beauty. Check out this bad boy. This is a awesome mod from Germany from a company called Dakotas or Dicodes, and this is a regulated tube mod that's beautifully crafted super expensive uh, but it does titanium it does nickel it does 40 watts it goes all the way up to 80 watts if you stack batteries and um, I have my Kalanis on here and it's making a beautiful pairing and uh, I have a nickel coil from uh, Aspire in here right now and I'm playing around with it because like let me tell you something the, just the um, this is not for beginners by the way this is the user manuals for these mods, okay? We're talking like full ass pages 
of data and data and data. Not me. So, <laughs> so I'm digging in. I'm getting. A, I'm gonna get a temperature uh, device for reading temperature. I've been working with uh, David Jayquith on trying to work that out, and we're gonna work together and uh, just try to. I'm gonna try to do the most honest, open, and detailed review. I can tell you so far, just by having this for about three days now, that um, the chip is extremely accurate and it vapes like a dream with nickel. They have their own special coil that's like a mixture between titanium and I think iron, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on that, uh, that I'm going to start doing some builds on. So that's what I'm vaping here. Um, in terms of juice, I'm vaping, um, I just got this in the mail from Wet Vapes, Mike. They carry the Muffin Man now. Nice. So one hit Wonder E liquid, 180 milliliters, and it comes in these two little bottles on the side. And uh, there's two different flavors. They have the Milk Man and they have Muffin Man. If you haven't tried this, wetvapes.com. I'm telling you guys, 80 VG, super high VG. Um, I got three milligrams of Nick because I've made the switch. And um, one of them tastes like, like apple cinnamon muffins, and the other one tastes like strawberry creamy milky goodness. So... Um, it is a, a really, really sweet juice. To let you know how good it is, in seven days, I put down about 170 milliliters of my original bottle. Wow, wow. Now, granted, it's probably because I switched to three milligrams of Nick and I've been Nick fitting, <laughs> but uh, I did vape a shit ton of that this week. It, I, I stand behind it. I'm going to do a review on it for uh, Wet Vapes, but uh, that's been really tasty. And I also have in my um, LE80, with the, the uh, velocity oh. clone, yeah, I have the uh, kilo cereal milk that I've been dripping in there, and let me tell you something. This velocity two post, <sighs> it's been blowing my mind. I, uh, it's so good that I almost want to go out and get an authentic just to be able to have an authentic one because it deserves it. Because like, it's just so well uh, designed that I've been enjoying the shit out of it. Hold on, let me take a hit of this shit, Mike. Hit that shit one time, baby. I'm gonna hit that shit. This shit clouds so good, I start feeling like Mike Bates. <laughs> <It's worth. laughs> I love when I do videos, Mike, and, and people comment and they go, your, your fucking mod is not color fucking matching like Mike Bates. Or <laughs> <laughs> you're not hitting that shit like Mike Bates. I fucking love it because I agree with them. I'm like, you are correct, my friend. <laughs> nah, but that velocity, you, that your video on that, the clouds that were coming out, whew. Yep, and that was not edited green screen graphics. I know some people suspect that of me, but uh, no. <laughs> nice. By the uh, way, I do not have a bleeding eye tonight, and I figured out what the culprit was last week for my eye problem. The issue was do not get sloppy with your dripping and get nicotine on your fingers and then rub your eyeball. Not good. That's all. Thank you. That was like a PS. That was a PSA from the Vapor Chronicles. Yeah, that was weird. Cause the end of the night, that was you know, I was fine. Yeah. Unless that black tape you put over it helped it out. Uh, probably, your, Mike. Your eye patch. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, the sensor on the the SX three fifty J on this mod, uh, DSL Labs. Uh, did I say labs? I say <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking asshole. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. By the way, it's your fault. You said labs that time. No, I, Daniel, Daniel, I am sorry. Anyway, I, anyway, LSD Daniel Bates. said. Anyway, Daniel said it's a sensor. You could shut off the sensor. You know the way it's got that gyroscope where you, where it uh, when you go into the settings, and if you turn your mod a little bit, it starts sensing it and go, makes your wattage higher and lower. It shuts that off, so you could just do it automatically with the buttons. That's what the sensor is. Thank you. And uh, Tess BK is uh, still in the moving process. He's moving out of state. So he'll still be on. He should be on next week. I think I want to get like a – I want to change my setup in here, Mike. What do you think? I, I'm thinking about getting like a nice like recliner and a couch set up. Like me? Yeah. Uh, holy shit. I was copying you and I didn't even know it. Got my couch. I'm chilling right here. Just relaxing. 
you know, I'm watching a little television too at the same time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what show are you watching? Well, I don't even know. It's, it's a commercial right now. I'm not watching. It is on though. I think it's. I think I got. What do I got on right now? Let's see. I think it's the History Channel or something. I like watching the History Channel. Um, I'm into that kind of shit. Yeah, History Channel's on right now. But I'm not really watching anything. Anyway, who's in here right now? Let's get, let's invite some people in here. Let's make it like a crazy uh, thing here. Let's get uh, Hank Vapes in here. Hold on. We got Hold Hank on. Vape, Dirty Fresh. Hold on. I'm in here. Go ahead, Mike. You can talk. Give me names. We got Hank Vapes in here. We got D Dirty D. Send them invites. They want to come in. They come in. Yeah, if you, guys if, you don't, if you don't want to come in, don't feel obligated, but we love you. Yeah, you don't have to come in if you don't want to, but uh, we're just throwing them out. And if anybody else wants to come on, uh, maybe we can set somebody else in. Who was you? Want to send a vape fog? Yeah. What about uh, DJ Labs? I already <laughs> invited him. There you go, <laughs> DJ Labs. DJ LSB. How about Axe? Let's invite Axe. Just fill up this whole room and just have a party tonight. So, Mike, why don't we talk for a second about what you sent me a picture of earlier today? Yes. Uh, I Stick, E Leaf, I Smoka is coming out. Uh, well, I had my suspicions because they went from a 30 watt device. Their I stick 30 to an I stick 50, which led me to believe why did they skip 40? And the reason they skipped 40 was because they've been working all this time on doing uh, a temperature control device that's 40 watts, and that's what's coming out. It should be coming out soon. Any day now, we should be having an I stick 40 watt TC. Interesting. It's still got the same body style. It looks like a. It looks shaped like the I stick 30, but it doesn't have that lip. Looks like they just made it a little bigger, you know what I'm saying, a little wider. So, interesting. Can any re any release date information on that, Mike? That picture was leaked, and that's the only thing that I've seen is that big. Fresh. Fresh, fresh. What's up, brother? What's happening, guys? How are you? Good, man. What's going on? Long, time no, long time no see. It's been forever, guys. It's the way we roll in the vape community. Vape Fox said that he's a pussy. He ain't a live guy kind of guy. No problem, Vape Fox. Shout out to you, my man. I've been trying to get that dude on my show for months now. Months. Vape Fox, my whole channel is me saying something stupid, so don't feel bad. <laughs> well, did you guys know that uh, Billy, Vape and Heathen, he actually was the same way. He didn't want to do – he was actually writing out reviews, and I'm the one that actually told him, dude, bust out your camera and start making fake reviews. Make reviews for yourself. And practice and that's what he did and you see him now he's like exploding oh he's yeah. fantastic he's fantastic he was able to hang out there for he was on there for like I know, like 45 minutes last night on my yeah. live show hey yeah. Mike why don't you show a picture of the new eye stick what's up Axe hey uh, guys I just missed you last night I, I, yeah I know just by about that much <laughs> <laughs> It's always the way. It almost looked like I was waiting for you to leave to go. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> All right, here's a the personal. Here's a picture of the new eye stick. Oh shit! Wait, that's. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Mike, I think I beat. I think I beat you to that model. I've got it sitting around somewhere. <laughs> here's a picture of the new eye stick, guys. <laughs> <laughs> shit! I keep on screwing up these pictures. Hold up, what's up? Uh, I get it right this Hank. time. Stop hanging. What up? Yeah, that that eye stick looks remarkably similar, right. similar Here's to this one. The new eye stick, guys. <laughs> there you go. That's, guys. How Mike, that's how Mike gets his reviews out. Oh, so he got at the factory in Shenzhen where they were making the eye stick. My bad. Hold up. <laughs> God, I keep on grabbing the wrong picture. I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't show a picture of my wife, Mike. <laughs> Right, here's a reaction when I saw Brian naked right here. <laughs> He's like, it's so big. 
Uh, By the way, not that's, big. That's, that's a complete lie. It's totally <laughs> like I'm more like an 18350 kind of guy, not an 18 or 26650. All right, here's the picture, guys. This is the picture of the new iStick 40 watt with temperature control right there, so you guys can check it out. <laughs> I, I wonder if there's, I I wonder if there's still. Hmm? No, go ahead. I was gonna say I wonder if they're still using those 20 amp fuses in there. <laughs> Who knows? I think they gotta use something a little more, right, with the temp control. Yeah, that's that was the big problem with the uh, with the 50 watt. That's why so many people were having issues. They were using those same fuses for the from the 20 and the 30. No fuses and all that, all those other things are not good. Yeah. Uh, What's up, Hank? What's up, man? What's going on, man? Everybody's laughing out by my pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay. Yep. Yeah, I need a delay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was I was looking for one more Mike Vapes picture. Everyone wants to know how Mike Vapes gets all of his reviews done so fast, and I said that I, I snapped this picture when I was went going to visit him one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how he does it. He gets connections with the uh, United States Postal Service, so <laughs> I didn't want the, you got to make me want the DHL. Uh... That's what I'll do. Oh, where is? So let's. Why don't we? Why don't we do this? Why don't we talk about what you guys are vaping? I'm interested in to know what this shit is going on with you. Who wants to go? Oh, Sam, talking about myself. Uh, I'm at work, so I'm only carrying one thing at the minute. But uh, Twisted Messes uh, and Sig 150. With some of the plume Nazi skull, uh, not, not skull and bones, that's 5th of November. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm running low. It's a trip to the vape store tomorrow. <laughs> that wouldn't last me five minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, there's a fire center just up there. I've got to watch it. <laughs> you know what somebody said? When you go to a hotel, you mm. can um, go in the bathroom <laughs> and grab the little plastic wraps for the, uh, you know how they give you the hair thing? Yeah. Yeah, they work. Yeah. They work well. Daniel, you got the mute on. You're muted. Okay. Yeah, hello, hello, everyone. What's, What's up, up, Daniel? Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you, all of you guys. Oh, it's a pleasure having you, man. <laughs> and directly from Portugal. <laughs> nice. Well, since you're talking, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your channel. Tell us what you're vaping on. Uh, I, I'm vaping at uh, the Vic VT uh, with the Limo 2 with titanium, with 28-gauge titanium, uh, and my own juice. Um, and a little bit about me, um, my English is uh, horrible uh, without editing, <laughs> but <laughs> here I am. I think uh, it's great. <laughs> okay, don't thanks, worry. Brian. It's, it, uh, you're, you're fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I started my channel in Portuguese, and, and, and then I, have some, I had some requests to do some reviews in English, and I started to do uh, reviews in Portuguese and in English. Uh, but then my English reviews uh, ramped uh, so quickly, then I stopped uh, doing Portuguese reviews. And all of the Portuguese uh, I had, uh, they'd still watch uh, my English reviews too. Nice. Oh, that's always good. Sweet. So you're about, you're an hour ahead, ahead of me, so it's 4 a.m. over there. That's like, yeah, so <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on night shift, so. <laughs> Sorry, did you understand? Oh. Uh, you're an hour ahead of me. No, I'm in the UK, so you're an hour. Oh ahead, no, so. no, it's it's the same hour. It's the same hour. Lisbon hour, London. Oh hour. yeah, you it's are. Yes. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. Straight. <laughs> no, I always forget that. You're straight on GMT rather than. Rather than I, I'm uh, I'm in an island. I'm in Funchal. I'm in Madeira. But uh, the, but the time is the same. Uh, the Azores island is uh, an hour later. Sweet. So Daniel, uh, I just want to let everybody that's watching know. If you guys haven't seen the Evic video uh, from Daniel, it is epic. I mean, it was so freaking detailed, and he hit so many different areas in little hidden treasures in the device, and he talked about the upgraded uh, firmware that they have in the new version. Um, him and I have been, we chat back and forth on Skype, and um, just a wealth of knowledge. You know, when, when Daniel does reviews, man, he breaks shit down. So Thank you. if you haven't seen it, check man. it out. Yeah. Thank you very much, Brian. I, I I'm I talked with them and they, and they talked about the, the the version two firmware, but I think it was a very very huge mistake uh, 
uh, didn't um, had this this device um, ready to upgrade by USB. I think it was a bad bad move. I completely and utterly agree with you in every possible way. I think that if you're going to have firmware, especially with something as uh, groundbreaking as titanium control, um, firmware upgrades are going to be have to be a standard for devices moving forward because yeah. nothing pisses a consumer off more than getting a DNA 40 and having fucking five versions come out after that are better than the one you bought and then you can't even resell it because nobody wants yeah. it. Well, I use DNA 40 because so that's on the top of my mind because I'm pissed off still. <laughs> well, yeah, but you gotta. But the one thing is that the DNA forty is two hundred dollars. Back when we got them, and on a you can't even upgrade them, which sucks. Yeah. I mean, at least fifty bucks for the thing. It's a little cheaper, but still fifty dollars, fifty dollars. At least kind of two hundred dollar device. They have to deal with that. And and Joytech had that that software. Uh, that software thing on, on all the VIX. Why they did that in the, in this one? Yeah. Bad know. decision. Yeah. <laughs> Hank, dirty, tell, dirty us, sh Hank. Sorry. Oh, tell, us, tell us about yourself, what you're vaping, all that good stuff. Me? Yes, you. All right, well, I'm trying out something new I just got the other day. The Nixon RDA. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the Kennedy sat right here. I just uh, I got a nighttime delivery. Uh, yeah. the original Kennedy. <laughs> it's, it's basically Kennedy with everything that I didn't like about the Kennedy fixed, which is pretty cool. What did they fix? It's got adjustable airflow and the top cap. Ah, oh, okay, okay. The whole barrel off. It's pretty nice. cool. The airflow is actually... It's really hard to do with your hands, it, it kind of has to be on the mod, but you can see the the arrows and the holes, so it, the bottom kind of turns. Right, right. And it'll, it'll close the holes off at the bottom. And it works. The, the only thing is you can't really see how far closed off it is. But Let me ask you a question, Hank. How do you feel about the catchphrase on the advertising for that saying, it's not a clone? Well, it's not. <laughs> uh, I mean, they definitely take things from the Kennedy, but it's different. Different it's, enough. Yeah. Yeah. I love how I love how it's Nixon on there. Yeah. Do I'm not a crook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I all that. Are, are the same anyway, anymore. So they're they're all clones of each other anyway. Yeah, when I, I saw that, actually, someone on Facebook had posted that, the Nixon. I just shook my head. I'm like, oh, man. What else are you going to think of for names? <laughs> then I've got my CLT3 Mini, which I broke the glass tip on, and I was a little bummed about that. And then the ugliest setup in the world, the Subverter Mini with the green O-rings and the orange EVIC. <laughs> we don't got the... What do you call this? Uh, regular Kangatech, the O rings? No, I've just left this on. Yeah. I don't care. Check out my sub. This is my Subverter Mini. Oh, that looks good, especially with the drip tip. Yep. And it's got uh, the base is the Atlantis uh, V2 base on there. No, Mike, I think I invited like 10 different people called D Devo, and none of them are the real D Devo. <laughs> so yeah. random people start popping in with their dicks out. It's it's not him. <laughs> well, it's dirty. Very well could be. <laughs> that is true. I can't. Why do I not? I mean, he's a he's a friend of the show. I don't understand. Yo, Dirty, do me a favor. Comment in this section if if your name is different on Google Plus than it is on uh, regular. And also what your picture is, because I see I see a toilet with a face in it, and then I see a hand with something on it. I don't know what it is. Yeah, his picture is the one where it's him in like a cartoonish face. I know, and I don't see it. I type D space D, capital D E V O E. What the fuck? I don't know. Oh, maybe I need to do a capital V. 
Somebody has the live show feed on, I think, or something, because I hear myself a little echo. Or they have their speakers on loud. Not uh, Hank's kids. Okay. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Turn those things down. Turn them down. No. <laughs> Turn down the full box. Well, thanks for coming on, guys. It's really nice to have everybody here in one spot. Thanks for having. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Thanks, yeah, Brian. Thanks. I wish there was more uh, ladies that would would come on the show. I don't know if it's the fact that Mike and I aren't hot enough, or <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think now that we got fresh on here. Yeah, that's true. He is well, a ladies' man. You, you may have to get some blue hair. That that, that also works. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, clearly. The, the blue hair pulls the ladies, I guess. Fresh, what, uh, are, you, what are you vaping on tonight, Fresh? Uh, let's see. Uh, I've got the 100 Watt Plus with a Derringer and some uh, like wild berry liquid that I made up last night. Um, I've got the Tenderfoot Series box with the Kennedy with some strawberry milkshake. Uh, I've got a sub tank. With some of uh, Stash Rides Rocket, which is a strawberry lemon meringue that I'm still trying to figure out. I'll get this liquid figured out at some point. And uh, I've got the Twisted Messes with some. We've got uh, what is this? This is blueberry kiwi lemonade. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I wound it up like crazy. So, uh, for those that for those that haven't run across me, I'm I'm Fresh O3. I do a live show on when every Wednesday night right after the reviewers queue. Uh, I do DIY vids. I do reviews. I do a little bit of everything. Um, try and make it a nice, relaxed atmosphere where everybody can kind of come in and hang out. So it's kind of my deal. <laughs> nice. It's kind of like we're copying. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, oddly, oddly enough, I've had I, I've had almost everybody on my show at one point or another. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I saw. Yeah. Uh, Fresh, well, I got a little info for you. Okay. For everybody, uh, I don't know if anybody likes uh, the old uh, VTC fives from Sony. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my vape shop. I actually uh, sh showed them. I just purchased these. Yeah. I got VTC fives. From uh, eSiggity.com has them. So anyway, my vape shop told me that eSiggity actually contacted them and told them that they have them back in stock and they're authentic and they're from Sony. They're starting to remake them again. That's what they said. Excellent. That's awesome. Ooh. Awesome. That's really Great. awesome. Yeah, well, That's interesting. Excuse me while I go to eSiggity. <laughs> <laughs> they sell out already, Mike? I'm not sure if they sell out. To tell you the truth, remember, I'm not even 100% sure if they're authentic. But I just don't see E. Siggity, you know, stating that they're authentic when they're not. You know what I'm saying? They have a reputation, I would think, right? Yeah. Uh, e. Siggity does have one of the finer reputations. Right. So I just don't see them s passing these off as authentic if they're not. And if they told my uh, my uh, what do you call it? my brick and mortar that they have authentics and that they're from Sony, hey. I believe them. Yeah. I bought eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm putting in my back order the bed. So. <laughs> well, I must I must give a final uh, shout. Out. I've given enough time and effort to invite Dirty on. I looked at everything. I tried to search for him, and I just could not find him. So I apologize. We need to figure this out, Dirty, because uh, it's not right. Could not we right. invite somebody? I don't know. Can you? I don't know. What, what do you press to invite? Where do you if go? you look at the top where the Google name is, where you see the little plus with the face, do you see that at the top? No. I think oh. only the host can do yeah, it. Yeah, it's only the, admin, only the admin of the show can do it. So oh. it'd be just you, Brian. Just me. Yeah. No. All right. Do you have Dirty's email? Just email in the link. <laughs> Yeah, Somebody okay. said here that the, they're pretty sure the VTC 3s and 4s are 30 amp and the 5s are 20. No, the 30 amp. That's what the, they're advertised as, 30 amp. Yes, they advertise 30 amp, yeah. I, I actually got four of them in the mail today also from eSiggity because D David Jayquith uh, hit Mike and I both up 
at the uh, he had us both up, and then I decided to buy four, and I thought I was going big. And all of a sudden, Mike jumps on and goes, "Yo, I just got eight. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole, man. And I'm gonna hit it off for the first time too, live. It's gonna vent. Be Mike. prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. nice, Mike. How did it hit? Oh, like any other battery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there was. Um, I don't know who it was. Someone commented on one of my videos about the 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 BGCs. Uh, I don't know the wrestling list was saying that they're they're within it's like 0 0.001 of the weight of, of the original and the pro most probably originals. But as seeing it, you see as them. Yeah. What we need is them to be over here in the UK uh, and Europe. So, <laughs> for the minute, I'll stick, I'll stick to me uh, HE4s. Someone in the comments is saying that uh, Sony is made in China, not in Japan. Is that true? Mm. Don't know. And she comes to the table. Hello, hello. Hey. How are you? Hey. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You have to mute your uh, the live feed you had before. Were you watching us? I can hear. Yes. Crazy. Can you yeah. hear me? Okay. Do me a, do, do me a favor. Mute the live show that you're watching. Do you see your screen? I'm where a lot of feedback. Let, let me change something here. You gotta mute the live show. There you go. There you go. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So, who are you? What do you do? What are you with us for? I love having you. I thank you for coming on. And I like to know where Jim is too. Where's Jim? Yeah. Where, where's Jim? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where's Jim? <laughs> Jim is my husband, but we live 300 miles apart. It's perfect. <laughs> That's a healthy marriage right there. Yeah. That's a very, very healthy marriage. I was thinking about doing a duplex, but that's even better. <laughs> yeah. I'm now outside. So I, I can only see me. How do I see you guys? Uh, click uh, off yourself. Yeah, at the bottom. Yeah, just just click on it because you usually go a bright white border on them. So. Oh, okay. There I am. Okay, got it. Thank you. There you go. You don't want to be a narcissist and stare at yourself the whole time. No, not at okay. all. Okay. <laughs> I know that Mike leaves his click on himself the whole show. I have. I Even have. by myself, I do a live show. For, for BK. You're drinking for BK. Yep. <laughs> nice. Are you gonna have bathroom issues like he does? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, Tracy, uh, well, besides the fact that she loves Jim, she also loves the vape, <laughs> and uh, she's a huge I love fan. The and yes. She loves watching, the, and she's always been a great supporter of mine, and I've been totally appreciative. And um, you know, the community has grown so much in the past what nine months now. Yeah. And uh, I'm really, really grateful for everybody. And you're one of those special people that you know has been awesome. And I know that you watch a lot of other vape reviews also. And that's what this is all about. It's about you know all of us coming together and trying family. to help each other out. Yeah. I've seen her commenting on mine too, so it's nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> Yeah, you always comment on my, my, my reviews, too, uh, and I always Daniel. appreciate it. Tracy, you should check out my channel. You got a chance. You hear me? I love, I love all you guys. You guys encourage me so much. What are you vaping on right now? Me? Yeah. I have, of course, my Zero mod on Subtake Mini with, of course, you know, the um, Quit That Grit Strawberry Milkshake. Nice. And I just ordered some of the Milkman. It's really, really sweet. Uh, it's got a oh, ton of... It? Yeah, it's, it's a very sweet strawberry, but it's uh -huh. really, really good. I'm looking forward to it. It should be here tomorrow. I can't wait. Nice. 
Yeah, I know. You I, when I read your comment, I was like, oh. And I know I just noticed like right before that that um I think that that brand of e liquids blowing up right now. So their website's yeah. been having a lot, a lot of over you know they're getting yeah, overflowed. They've, they've definitely got some issues. Yeah, which is usually the case. I mean, when a good e-liquid e comes out and it's affordable uh, and people start talking about how good it is, they blow up quicker than their, their business can handle. So they, mm -hmm. it usually takes a couple months for them to get it sorted out. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. But at least you got some coming. Yep. Sweet. So let, let's spend a minute talking about this. So when I look at my analytics for my channel, it is 96% men. Mm. Why is that? Not not just my channel in general. I mean, I've heard even like the super sexy guys, they still have like 75% men. What what is the the reasoning do you think cuz you're a, a a woman that vapes and you're passionate about vaping? Mm -hmm. What is the what's the roadblock? Do you think it's intimidation or there people just want to cuz my wife vapes but she could give a shit about vape videos, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, my um, wife. Well, for, for me, first of all, I'm a very visual person, so I like to see and hear people experiencing it and get you know their impressions of things. And uh, I I like all of your channels because you're real people, and I I kind of feel like I'm not left out. Like most channels, if if you're a woman, they don't even respond to your messages. You know, and you guys have always been very kind and generous in that respect. Thank you. So more more inviting. We could be more inviting to the Yeah, I think enthusiasm. more warm. It, it, it is a harsh area of men and batteries and voltage and electronics and stuff. So women are intimidated by that, you know. I, I, I'm I not. Yeah. But I, I can agree. understand that most women would be intimidated. That's why I think uh, on, on future uh, shows of the vape team, I'm going to try to get some... Um, Girls that I respect. I mean, shit. Abby vapes builds and her stuff puts me to shame. So um, I think maybe uh, bringing her on the show and having her talk about her experiences. I, I enjoy that part of it because the community as a whole is not just a bunch of dudes. You know, even though we do like to drop some, you know, juvenile humor. I mean, I know the ladies oh, yeah. like that too. Oh yeah. <laughs> we we live in a man's world. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just checked. I just checked, and I have 39% women uh, on my Google uh, Analytics. That's because you're so hot. You? That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that you. That sounds like a fluff statistic, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I, just checked you, and I, just, I just checked, and I'm down to 2% women. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start taking my mind. Sure I'm, just, I'm just curious. Uh, and, and what age do you do you all, all of you uh, gave me? Eight what? bracket. How old uh, am I? Oh, you you must be thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Any other guess? Twenty-four. Oh, that that that's uh, approximately what what people gave me. Uh, I I have thirty. You're thirty. Yes. <laughs> Well, but but people He's always call me. Hard. People always call me a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking at my analytics now, and it's like 94% male, 6.2% female. It's like that just seems a bit a bit off, really. You know, cause I, I know several female papers and just they just <clears throat> and a couple of them just are are full on cloud chasers, and it's just that just that small small amount. But, so, so we can uh, we can assume that you are you are not hot. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to welcome to the not hot club, my friend. <laughs> well, you never know. Okay. Wait, wait until things grow a bit. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna start doing my reviews with baby oil on. That's what it is. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get tassels. <laughs> <laughs> get a couple of pastries on there with, with tassels. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be well up. <laughs> Screw it. Brian's Screw couch. It. I'm gonna get a similar robe. Right. Yeah. Uh, I can make I can make pole fail videos. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. 
Uh, oh man, uh, I wonder sometimes if maybe it's because we're not meeting the the um, specific wants and needs of that audience. You know what I mean? Like, what could we do to, mm. you know, maybe create more interest well, or something like that? I I think one thing that happens a lot um, is that, and I and I, I'm not I'm not trying to offend anybody, but when you guys do videos, you refer to guys like you know all you guys out there and you refer to all the guys, you never really include the, the women that may potentially be, I, I mean, I'm just saying, that's not a real reason, but it could potentially put some women off, I suppose. Yeah, I, I say that on every video. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I, don't right. even, I don't even think of, like, when I say right. guys, I mean right. all of us, I don't mean men in general, it's not mm -hmm. like a, but, right. I, but people that could hear it is that totally. Right. So now every time I say it, I'm going to be guilty. Something. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gotta say peeps. I mean, the whole thing is, uh, my, my intro is, hi guys. It's like, it said pretty much the same as Todd. Hi guys. Todd again. Um, but still. Um, <laughs> I know, I know Ted is sitting here agreeing with you completely. Mm. And, and also... A German accent helps a lot. It's Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese. <laughs> so, Daniel, what site do you go to to pay to have more female subscribers? <laughs> I don't pay for any of them. Daniel has like a 200 sisters to follow him. <laughs> I only have one sister. <laughs> Fluffy, uh, Fluffy McMuffin just said, I don't think most women watch vape-related stuff for the same reason I don't watch makeup videos. Uh, I don't see that connection whatsoever uh, because I don't... Because I, I, I watched a million makeup videos and vape videos. Hmm. But I, I understand, yeah, but some might think that. Hey, Mike. You? Um... You had something to announce, didn't you? Is he pregnant? <laughs> Mike is expecting it. <laughs> pregnant? And it's my baby. Mike. We're going to do a giveaway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, giveaway. Yes, what a fucking giveaway. Let's yep. see, what are we going to... I'm going to give away something. Hold up, you guys talk a little bit. Let me go grab something to give away. <laughs> okay. uh, that's... that's, that's so what do you guys think he's going to give away? Um, um, I'm not even... Hit, hit that shit, Mike. <laughs> I'm hitting that shit for you right now. Hold up. That was me. I would love for Tess. Tess, Tess to come on here. Yeah, I think she was saying that she was in her bathrobe. Oh, well. That's okay, I'm Tess. Sorry. <laughs> bathrobe the shit out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing better than a nice bathrobe and a vape. <laughs> and it's a dirty. Aha, I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> How did, I didn't even send it. How did you do this? Let me help so I can win. <laughs> oh, it had to do with him wanting to win. I get it. <laughs> Dirty, did you get did you get my invites or what? No, I didn't get yours, but I got freshes. Oh. Yes. I love the new mustache, Dirty. Uh, that is spectacular. <laughs> Mad props to at home brewed vapes because we had a discussion last week and I completely forgot because I got it in the mail today. And it came in a pharmaceutical box, and I was like, it had my name on it. I'm like, why the fuck do I have ph a pharmaceutical box coming to me? And then I open it up, and it's in this big greasy package, and I open it up, and it's mustache wax. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I don't, I didn't, I didn't order this shit. And I'm like, well, maybe I got really fucking high and just ordered it. And I was like, no. And then I remembered the conversation I had with Jay, and I told him, the because he, he asked me why I don't curl it up. And I'm like, because I have white wax, and when I put white wax on it, it just looks like I have dried semen all in my... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, party then. Yeah. <laughs> It me brown wax, so I'm like, yes, now I can twist this shit up. 
How's everybody doing? I love everybody here. We're going to do a giveaway. Nice. Yes. Now, nice. my giveaway isn't going to be as extravagant as Brian's because I, I gave away a lot of my shit on my channel. But anyway, this is what I'm going to give away today. Uh, I got a iSub G tank. Brand new. Yay. Great. And I got a 50-watt device. It's the Dav Po Mini. 50 watt device. Temperature control? No, just the regular Dav Po Mini oh. 50 watt. Because they, they released the, the temperature control one. Yeah, everybody has. <laughs> they all got that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, right? It's the year yeah, of even temperature control. Camry, even Camry got a temperature control now. Yeah. But anyway, this is the question that I have. My first video that I put up on YouTube, if you guys follow me from the beginning, you would know. The first video I put up in YouTube, I was uh, using a device with a tank on it. I don't care about what the device was. What tank was I using? My first video ever on YouTube. Go. Nautilus. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Tracy. No. I think I know, but uh, I, I, can't I, know. Say it. I know, but I can't say it. Yeah, I think I know too. Let's see who gets the first. We should get like I need to get a sound effects board. I know, because his review of it is the reason why I bought it. <laughs> We're getting comments that this is the best vape team to date by far. That's from my boy, Billy. Oh, oh my God. Thank you, very much. And I have to say it's because Tracy's on. Yay! Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> Todd said the POV1. No, that wasn't my first video. No? Jerry Shepard. Jerry Shepard got it. Yeah. It was the Atlantis. Totally. Oh. Uh, so, Mike, why don't you tell Jerry how he can collect on this beautiful winning that he just got? Um, I lied. I'm not going to give it away. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> well, my YouTube channel. <laughs> well, my YouTube channel. Doing. Yes, my YouTube channel. Go on the About section. You're going to see a message area. Message me. Your name and address, and I'll ship it to you. All right, Jerry. Congrats. What was it Jerry Shepard, right? Was that his name? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Very good. I just checked also on the winning from last week. Um, I checked the tracking numbers, and it looks like they should be arriving tomorrow. So be prepared to check your mail tomorrow to the winners from last week's giveaway. It's my fault. I shipped them out on Tuesday. Everything's your fault. I'm, tell me about it. What, have you been talking to my wife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Let me tell you something. The, the grass has not been getting mowed lately. <laughs> oh, by the way, just to, for confusion's sake, that video I don't think is up anymore. Or it might be up. I'm not sure. I think I took it down. But that was the first video I did put up. So. Weren't you wearing a Mets jacket? No. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet. So I, I, I never realized how challenging it would be to come up with a topic and then invite every single person of a – how many people do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people besides myself. And how do you – like maybe I could have like something that lights up when it's your time to talk. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's challenging. I was gonna. I was gonna say you. You are the admin. You could just mute everybody, and we just keep an eye. And when when you unmute us, it's our chance. It's our chance. I, we bounce. I would forget. I would forget that I muted you, and then I'd be like, I'd ask you a question, and you'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not gonna work well. So I think that the, whoever's the most dominant in the room needs to just have a bigger voice. Maybe that's what we'll do. Tracy wins. I would win. <laughs> Tracy does win. <laughs> Uh, one uh, thing I did see, did see in the chat was <laughs> about the UK and Europe, uh, what's going on across here with uh, advocacy. Um, speak about it. Yep. Basically, we have uh, Article 20, which is they want basically the basis of it is they want to um, make vape, make vaping and tobacco uh, and tobacco laws. Uh, what that basically entails is that um, our tanks can no longer be more than two millimeters. Uh, the 
devices and all our e-liquid e uh, ingredients have to be registered at great cost. Um, what else was there? Um, I'm a bit adult. I've been on night shift for four nights. It's, it's killing me. Um, yeah, uh, it, it's basically there's a fair fair few things that are actually sort of going on with that. And like those are the main things. I mean, sort of like e-liquid. E you, your manufacturers have to register every single ingredient they're using in it and then have it tested. Okay, testing is a good thing, but when even if you change one ingredient or just say like, like you've got one concentrate, you change for another, one menthol to another, you have to you have to go through the whole process again. Yeah, uh, again. yeah. especially uh, the and then it'll stall the production line too. You know, if like exactly. a new vendor comes out or something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, this isn't this isn't only happening in the UK; it's happening all, all over Europe. So, this this is in Portugal as well, and, and everywhere, or, or the whole, whole European Union. Portugal um, started the tax. Uh, Portugal mm -hmm. was the country starting to tax uh, sixty cents per milliliter yeah. in any juice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. But it was what we have. What we have in the UK and Europe is the Article Twenty legal challenge. Uh, which is funny, which is going by uh, totally wicked. Uh, I know, I know, totally wicked is out in the US. They're also in Germany, uh, but basically, they're a UK-based company that would sort of that have the have the power behind them to actually sort of uh, go to the European Parliament and actually put, uh, push towards uh, sort of sort of maybe maybe just sort of bringing the regulation back. I know regulation is a good thing, but the way they want to do it is not not a uh, not not the not the best way. I mean, they have to do, everything has to be registered six months before. So what happens when, uh, like, you 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 sort of you register the uh, the it comes in in Europe, uh, everything is illegal for six months, unless they've got unless they've really thought ahead. Just like, but you know, not many sort of like the small juice juice vendors, they're not going to have that have that power behind them. It's going to it's going to knock out. A lot of these small companies, um, but yeah, it's, it, that's basically what's happening at the minute. So, what's the point of a two and a half ml tank? Uh, what What does it matter if it's two and a half or five? No idea. No the, the idea. Point, the, the point is, is we already uh, have devices from tobacco companies. Seagull likes, mm -hmm. for example, is opening doors just for those uh, Seagull likes devices. Gotcha. It's a big, co yeah. big tobacco. Yeah. I mean, also, they have to be leak-proof. That's, that's what I was trying to remember. Everything has to leak-proof. They can't leak, and they must have a leak-free leak, leak uh, filling system as well. So mm -hmm. anything like a dripper or something like that, it's out. Um, your, your standard sub ohm tank, they're out. You know, everything pretty much, you know, any, any, any sort of a large tank, you know, is, is out. No, they they become sort of well they don't become illegal or such but, but it's the whole thing they can, we we can't get it it's stifling the whole innovation as well so. yeah and you know one of the things that really concerns me is up until this point it's been such a strong grassroots small business level um, of passionate people that really care about you know not just the the money involved with vaping but also vaping culture and um, the innovation has been really driven by people that are passionate about vaping and I think that once you have these large uh, corporations getting involved you know if, if they know that it takes six months to get applications for a new you know flavoring or a new whatever they could buy up all the flavorings from a competitor yeah. and then yeah. totally disrupt that company's flow and then ruin them you know and that's what happens exactly. that's yeah. what happens so that's that's scary as shit and it sucks big time I can't believe this shit fucking happened I mean, we saw it coming, but it's like, man, isn't there enough of us to to have a voice? You know, and, and I thought with YouTube and with the internet, we'd have a voice that could be heard at much larger capacity than ever before. And it just doesn't seem to be carrying. Like the mass media is just shutting it down with all the lies and all the bullshit. Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't. I don't think there's enough. There's there's not enough people that are so into vaping to where it's a hobby for them. To get to the point where they're watching YouTube, yeah, because there's there's a lot of people they just get their standard starter kit and, and that's it, and they stick with that, and they don't give a shit about YouTube, so they don't even know what's going on. But a lot, I, I thought maybe with all of us having like Instagram and with Facebook and all the all the the ways that our our web of channels sort of spread out into the larger web, 
I yeah. thought maybe that would help spread the message too. Mm -hmm. and that's why I think vape shops really need to be the biggest voice and the ones that step up the most. In yes, the I agree. Yeah. Oh, I, I agree. In the, and I think the, the, the biggest problem in Portugal is uh, I talked with many stores in Portugal and uh, almost all the stores they don't they don't give a shit about vaping advocacy. Uh, they don't give a shit. In Portugal, they don't give a shit. Yeah. Because it's a cash grab, Daniel? Is that what it is? They're trying to get as much as they can before it all drops, yes. or they just don't believe that it's going to be hurt their business? Yes, totally, totally. They, they are in the business uh, only to get their, their pockets full. Anything more. That's, that's very sad to say, but, but that, that is the truth. Are we going to have to become the crazy fringers that start to pick it outside of places and shit? Probably. Probably. Absolutely. Probably. Yep. You, you guys are going to see me with zip tie handcuffs on and shit getting dragged down the street. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't I'll beat that cop up. That. Right. I could just see my wife. I fucking told you that YouTube shit wasn't going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking exactly the same. Yeah. Exactly You're waiting same. for a reason, so there it is. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Figures. Well, I thought it was going to be this week. I, because I love making like creative pictures and stuff on my iPad, my iPhone and stuff. And um, lately, I've been experimenting with like branding stuff because you know these companies spend millions of dollars creating a brand that is uh, noticeable to all of us in the real world. And yeah. um, so I've been using like Marlboro and BMW, and that was fucking stupid of me <laughs> because <laughs> they, they could take the, everything. The BMW one. Yeah, I don't think BMW would like TVC on their logo with fucking the ultimate vaping machine. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, the, and that shirt, that shirt in the the show uh, that says um, microcoil, I think yeah. it, it is. Yeah, microcoil. Yeah. I think Microsoft doesn't uh, like that too. <laughs> but it is a crazy. It is a crazy shirt. <laughs> too bad. Too bad. I'll wear in every single video I do from now on. <laughs> so I just want to ask you guys right now that if something ever happens and they sue the tits out of me, uh, I'm going to start a... Uh, oh, we, got, we got your back, Brian. All right, thank you. Tracy's going to put her house up as leverage. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you just committed, I think? Or you yeah. just got you got your hand on my shoulder for my back? I got, I got you. Okay, thank you. Well, we have to start a, like a GoFundMe crowdsourcing thing and we'll, we'll still get wrecked by their massive pockets. Yeah. Well, I hate to tell you guys this, and it's sad. The show always flies by, but you know, over an hour is just too long for me because I am lazy. That's your lazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> no. No. The reason why we do an hour, I want to make it like a really good hour episode on TV. And if you give too much, it gets boring and flat. If you drop it right when it gets good, then everyone comes back next week yeah. and watches the show. So. Uh, that's the purpose. I, I want to thank each and every one of you. Uh, Dirty, Axe, Daniel, Fresh, Hank, Mikey motherfucking vapes, and <laughs> of course, your, Tracy, much love. Thank you for coming on. It was awesome to meet you personally now. Thank you. And uh, everyone can say their individual goodbyes. Starting with Axe. Okay. Um, yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. Um, I'm a uh, so if, if you'd like to subscribe to me, it's Access Vaping Blog on YouTube. Um, you'll find me on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. So yeah, uh, I'm I'm out and about. I I'm sort of very much UK based, but I sort of cater, try and cater to everyone. So yeah, cool. Dirty is not paying attention. Sorry, uh, you can find me on. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> nice mustache. Thanks. <laughs> that wax is working for you. <laughs> mine.com you can find all my content there uh, links to my YouTube channel you'll find links to Hank Vapes you can find links to Brian you can find links to everything everything that's me you'll find me there beautiful how about you Daniel uh, I just do reviews as all of you guys uh, thank you very much for having me in the show uh, I'm not going to pronounce my channel okay it's, it's DJ LSB Vapes uh, and uh, it was a pleasure to be here tonight. Thanks for coming on. Uh, how about you, Fresh? Say your goodbyes, because we love you. I love you guys as well. 
the main thing going on right now uh, here in the U.S. We didn't really get into it. Is uh, CASA, uh, CASA or go to their website, follow along with their calls to action. Right now, there is a bill in the House, the U.S. House, to grandfather clause in 99% of the vape gear and keep it out, keep it out of the FDA's hands. This is exactly what we've been fighting for. This is why we. This is why we have the local lobbyists. This is why CASA exists to point us all in the right direction. If you go on CASA, they will give you a copy and paste email, provide you with the senator's email, uh, your House of Representatives email, your representative's email. You copy and paste it and send it along. That's all you have to do. Um, I'm fresh. Uh, Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for coming on and with your copyrighted friend shirt. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it didn't thanks get us cold. It didn't get us cold. How are you, Hank? Want to say your goodbyes, my love? Yep. Um, thank you, guys, so much for having me on again. Um, it was fun as always. Uh, another thing, kind of like the Casa, is yesterday I got an email yesterday morning from change.org and somebody had started a petition. It does the same thing as CASA where it sends it to your local um, representative senators and I, I believe it sends it to everybody in Congress asking them to reject the deeming of vapor products as tobacco products. Sorry, I'm not prepared. I don't remember exactly. But. Anyway, there was like 2,000 signatures on it when I received it yesterday morning. I shared it on Vaporium, um, and they, they got 10,000 signatures added to it in one day. So that's pretty awesome. If you haven't signed up for that, just go to change.org and find it, and uh, just sign your name on the petition because it's just one, one more outlet to get your voice heard. And uh, thanks a lot for having me on, guys. Thanks for coming thanks for on. And... Uh, I'm gonna ask Tracy to drink that shit for uh, BK <laughs> before she before she finishes. And also, I think that's uh, Jim calling on the phone because he wants to go yeah. live on the show. It's, it's Jim. <laughs> I figured that. Good call. Big shout out to Jim, sure. by the way. I love all you guys. That's, thanks for joining us. And you can't find me anywhere, so. <laughs> that's just the way you like it. Only Jim could. <laughs> Um, Mikey, motherfucking vapes, why don't you close the show tonight with a little bit of love? I want to thank everybody for joining us. Thank you, everybody, watching us. And remember exactly what Fresh said and what Hank said. Make sure you sign up on casa.org and on change, right? Was it uh, change.org? What was it again? I believe so, yeah, change.org. Change.org, and make sure you guys do all that, all right? And uh, here's a hit for all of you. Back at you. Group, group hit. Let's let's all hit that shit one time. <laughs> Love you, everybody. Good night.